So this car had a really bad leak, but I didn't know exactly how much ATF came out of the transmission. So I don't want to go through this whole process of drain fluid from underneath the car and then go into the side port. So I found a quicker method to pump the fluid back into the transmission through the transmission oil line using a pump. That's the pressure side or supply side of ATF fluid coming out of the transmission going to the radiator for cooling. If you're trying to determine what's the supply and return ATF lines out of your transmission, usually the supply side sits above the return side port. If you're not sure, disconnect the supply return lines and run into a oil container. Just start the car for like a second or so and then figure out which line is pushing the oil out. You could go to the AMSOIL website and find out for yourself what the drain and fill oil capacity for your car is if it's not stated in your owner's manual. The manufacturer did state that the total oil capacity for this vehicle was 7.5 quarts. So this is an empty container of ATF fluid. We got marks here. One, two, three, four quarts, right? Put it through here. And run this tube into the container like that and then we'll start the car so if you're concerned about draining all the oil out of the oil pan by starting it up as long as the car is in park or neutral the transmission clutch friction plates will not be engaged so all you're doing is utilizing the pumping pressure to suck up and pump the oil out of the oil pan so there won't be any damage to your transmission doing this process it's not pushing all the oil out of the system. The remaining oil balance will reside in the transmission, the torque converter, the radiator, and the transmission lines. Now that's supposed to have 4.2 quarts for this particular car. And we're only at, I think, the halfway point. So I'll pull this tube out and see how much fluid's in here. Not even a quart and a half. The leak was so bad, you hardly have any transmission fluid in the car. So here's my transmission oil pump with a valve over here, fill port over here, and we're going to be pumping in, as per the manufacturer's specs on this car, four quarts. So this is four quarts. Okay, that's almost four quarts. We'll have to revisit it. So this container holds three quarts. Now we'll pressurize it, make sure the check valve is off. Alright, we got it to 20 PSI. This is the adapter, but we'll connect it to the supply side hose. We'll get this hose clamp on here. So now we're going to pump in, via the radiator, new ATF fluid back into the transmission. Now when we release this valve, fluid's going to start coming in this way. This will take like five minutes. When the pressure drops, I'll just pump it some more. So the way the ATF system works is you have pumping pressure which pumps transmission fluid through the radiator to cool the fluid down and then returns the fluid back into the transmission oil pan. We're just filling up the transmission oil pan and you don't have to worry about fluid coming back out through this pressure side port because the, the engine isn't running and the torque converter isn't spinning around. Okay, now we're pouring in the remaining one quart balance. Now doing this is basically above engine drain and fill. We're not getting under the car and removing the drain plug. And if you did this a second time, the new fluid will get sucked in from the oil pan, pushing the dirty fluid out through the torque converter. So assuming the car has an eight quart capacity, if you do this a second time, that will be a transmission flush. Now 
to shut off the valve. Oh wow, there's a difference. Uh, before, with a low fluid level, the transmission was making like a whizzing noise. It's gone now. Oh, it's upshifting, perfect. Smooth. Transmission isn't jerking up or down into uh, into gear. It was like before. It's like the transmission was trying to figure out which gear to shift into. Now it's up shifting and down shifting, perfect. And we're done.